I'll give you an idea of where we're at. Um, so go high level, right? You can create whatever you want on that platform. Now, everybody knows Go High Level. If you don't know Go High Level, it's a really, really powerful software. It's basically like click funnels, uh, email, text. You can build funnels on it, build websites. You can do it's anything. literally, yeah, yeah it's, it's massive. And you guys are using Go High Level, right? Yeah, we are. We use Go High Level for our whole funnel track set. It's it's off it's the charts. We're actually switching from Calendly to the Go High Level. Um, yeah, funneling software because. Yeah. We can triple book our setters on go high level. And you Dude, I do- Correct. Yeah, I double book everybody on mine. You can d- triple book, double book. You can do as many as you want, really. Dude, it's such a cheat code. No one told me for like a long time. Dude, so I, it's funny. I actually joined a mentorship group for uh, for the credit company.com. And, mm-hmm. you know, I'm always buying courses, joining groups and stuff. But it's funny. Yeah. I guess I'll just explain to you the context of this. This is actually a crazy story, by the way, that I'm about to tell you, which is how I came across Go High Level. And then also a funny story about the double booking. But I, dude, I was watching YouTube. Yeah. you. I think I told you guys about this at uh, in Tennessee. But I was watching YouTube one day and my YouTube algorithm just puts literally like make money online opportunities down my throat that's all it feeds me like joe rogan ufc cars and like how to make money online that's pretty much all it feeds me so i'm you know i bought this course for uh like how to start a credit repair company and i i already kind of knew how to do credit repair because i work in mortgages right so i'm basically you know i'm watching this video and these two kids in california started this credit repair company and they were like, yeah, we, you know, we got all of our clients through TikTok. I'm like, no, I don't even have the app on my phone watching the video. Yeah. I don't have the app. Thank you. So I'm, I'm like, you know, listen to these kids and they're, they're not like, you know, it's not a side hustle. They're making money, bro. They're, they have at that point, they had 1800 clients paying them hundred a month. So you guys could all do the math on that. Huh. Wow. Yeah. And then on top of the fact that they're making affiliate revenue from other things from, uh, you know, because you have to sign up for a credit monitoring system, which pays you, you know, oh, yeah. a, a big commission every month and it's recurring revenue. So anyway, I get off. I actually stopped the video at like, there, it's a 16 minute vid. I stopped it at like 10 and never picked it back up. I just stopped it and went and made a TikTok account. And uh, I think like the next day. Or, yeah, I did. Right. Nope. Yeah, so I I stopped the video, made the TikTok account, and then like the next day I posted a video and it was so cringy. Like I was I hated like I did not want to be on camera. That's why yeah. I always tell people, dude, like the biggest excuse I ever hear is like, "Oh, I don't like being on camera." It's like, "Get over it, dude." Yeah. That's like saying, "I don't like being behind the wheel of a car." Literally. What are you going to do? Not yep. drive? Yep. Like everybody's driving, dude. Get on with it. It is what it is. I don't like working out either. I don't like suffering and doing CrossFit, but you know what? It is what it is. You gotta, you gotta be healthy. And you know, as well as I do, like throughout your day, you have a lot to do, but you often find the greatest ROI with your time is simply content and content creation and building your brand. So that's, it's funny you say that I'm optimizing my entire schedule right now around being a content production factory. That's all I'm going to, because the only thing that I can't delegate is content production yeah, and curation. Yeah. Everything else I'm trying to delegate. But um, but yeah, so I, I basically, I, I get on, I make a TikTok. These kids inspire me to do it. I wind up growing, you know, uh, uh, the account and, and whatever. But like two months into the business, I start to get some traction going and I DM the kid who was in the video. And I was like, yeah. Hey man, I'm not, I only have like, I don't know, maybe like 50 clients at this point. I have maybe 50 and, um, which is, you know, it's great because it shows proof of concept, but I DM'd him and I was like, Hey man, thanks for uh, the great content. I really appreciate it. And I just like thanked him. I didn't really like yeah. ask him for much. I was, and he actually offered me a free call. The guy really? was su- dude the nicest guy i'm telling you like ricardo by the way go follow ricardo soto on tiktok guy is just got a heart of gold young guy right young guy super super cool guy he's always willing to help 
if you guys are listening, definitely follow Ricardo Soto on TikTok. Shameless plug because he's helped me so much, man. Like he he yeah. really deserves it. So I I DM him. He gets on a 30 minute call with me just to give me free game. And he like yeah. was giving me gems on the call. I was like, what is going on, dude? So anyway, then a couple months later, maybe like a, actually it wasn't even that long later, maybe a month and a half later, I'm at 200 clients and I ask him, I finally ask him, I'm like, hey, can you mentor me? I, I'll pay you to mentor me. Yeah. I'm at that point now where I have some disposable cash to like, you know, invest into learning. Right. And he, so I joined, he actually was like, oh, well, a funny story is I'm joining a, men, I'm, I'm starting a mentor group. Uh, I have like maybe five or six people in here. It's kind of a private thing. If you want to join, you're more than welcome to. I figured it was going to be like, a, you know, five grand, <laughs> something crazy. He was like, yeah, it's like, it would, dude, it was a very low amount. You know, I'm not going to put his business out there, but like, it's super, it was a very unreasonably low amount to, for the value he was giving. So I joined it. And, uh, you know, the reason that I thought of this story is because, well, first off, that's just a crazy story in general, that whole yeah. like chance occurrence of me reaching out to him after seeing him on YouTube. And now like me and him talk all the time. Like I was on the phone with him two days ago. We're talk just talking shop on TikTok stuff. And he's like, Hey, are you seeing this? on TikTok. And I'm like, yeah, he's like, all right, cool. I just want to make sure. So like, we're, we're constantly in touch and like brainstorming ideas with business. So <laughs> it's been, it's, it's cool, man. It's cool how that kind of stuff works. Um, but in the group, I was, uh, I, I sold life insurance for a bit back in the day in between mortgage jobs. And we would double book our schedule because so many people no showed. Yeah. We would a always lot. double book. A lot of people no showed, right? Which is what a lot of people have, which is what we'll get into with talking about the Jasby thing um, with the AI bot. But so many people no showed. And I knew that when we were double booking, we had a ton of success and it didn't cause any issues. And, you know, if you showed up a little bit late for a call, people weren't really upset. They didn't even say anything really. So I started double booking everybody. And I got a great results from it. Because if you get 50% no shows and you double book, just by the pure math, you're just going to have a better success rate. So I told them, I told these guys that started the mentorship group, uh, they weren't doing double booking. And I was like, Hey man, you guys should look into this. You should, you should double book. And they, uh, they started doing it and they're like, Oh my God. Like they were yeah. freaking out. You know, they're like, Oh, this is so good, man. You know? So I, I always try to, anybody that's mentoring me, I try to give them as much value as possible. I try to like basically do more for them than they could ever do for me. It's weird right. to think about it like that, but like everybody that's ever mentored me, no matter what, I try to give them as much value as they possibly can. Yeah. Right. You want to, you want to provide value to them. Right. I, yeah. um, I talked to, you know, Ryan Pineda yesterday and the whole time I'm thinking like, how can I provide value to this guy to be able to yeah. be in his inner circle? I'm like, I, I can't, there's, there's no value I can provide right now to him. And so I got to figure out how I can. And so, um, you know, that's, it's kind of, I was actually thinking about that on the way home from the gym last night, by the way, that was an awesome pod. I, uh, I watched it. I did. I did. Wow. I got through the first half of it on the way home from the gym. Um, so I still have the other half to, to finish, but dude, I was thinking about that the entire pod. I'm like, wow, if I was in your shoes, I was thinking, yeah. what could I possibly do to give this guy value? And it was actually a tough question to answer for me. Cause I couldn't figure out you know, what, what I could possibly do for this guy. I was thinking, oh, well, maybe he could use the Jasby system. And I was like, cause what, dude, when you figure out little tweaks like that, even just one yeah. value add. And so giving somebody little tools, I think little hacks, like for you and your business, I'm sure there's a hack that you don't even realize is a hack that you might oh, be able to definitely. be like, Hey, you know? So I always try to think of that too. It's funny you say that. I got to pitch you a Jasby idea though. And add on. Yeah, dude, I'm I'm ready for it. I'm okay. I'm down. So, so, um, first of all, do you want to kind of describe like what Jasby is like off of like, like what Jasby is first, and then I'm gonna then I'm gonna pitch you my idea because I'm just it needs to happen. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, okay. So for for everybody that doesn't know, again, just to recap and and kind of get everybody up to speed, Jasby is and basically an all in one CRM. So if you basically sell anything online that involves booking appointments, texting, nurture email, if you have funnels, if you have a website, it literally is all in one. And the, the most massive businesses and companies in the world are using this platform, right? So 
you can take this platform and then go in, you know, create a version of it yourself with your own custom layout and your own custom settings and put your own spin to it. So we did that with Jasby, but the main difference with ours is that I hired a, uh, developers and I hired this basically it's team of super smart, you know, like tech wizards and developers yeah. to install and add on an AI text bot that is based, that is, is literal artificial intelligence. So a lot of people say AI in, it's a buzzword, right? But it's not true AI. This is actual real AI. And it's, it's based off of the uh, Google platform dialogue flow. So if you guys Google dialogue flow, CX or ES, um, it's made by Google. And so it's a machine learning AI software that uses in, intent-based and language-based learning, right? To develop a text bot. Uh, and you can use it for email too, but the main thing that you want to use it for is text. So it can have a whole conversation with your prospect and it can do it at a thousand at a time, 10,000 at a time. It's unlimited. So it can be having conversations with people, booking them appointments. So right now, our main thing that we're looking at is uh, a booking bot. So we're creating a booking bot where you know, a, a text goes out automatically. I'll just give you an example, a real life example. So let's say you guys have a call on the schedule. You call them, they no show. Now with the automations in Jasby, you can press one button and that button puts them into a campaign that's called a no-show campaign. So they get a text right after the call that doesn't happen. It says, hey, looks like we missed you uh, for your call. No worries. Uh, what would be a better time to reschedule? Mm -hmm. Let's say they don't answer that text, right? The automation yep. is set to where you can set this for whatever time you'd like. The next day or even later on in the day, it says, hey, just wanted to touch base. I know you're probably busy, but we wanted to really make sure you got your call in. Um, and so let's say the answer to that text and they say, yeah, we'd love to. Here's what most of the time happens. Most of the time by that point, your team's logged out of their CRM. It's Friday evening. You're gone. You're doing your thing. And now that person doesn't get a response till Monday. And the same thing happens. They don't answer. Right. And you just are playing this back and forth and you're not, not able to get them on the schedule. What Jasby does is it responds to them immediately when they respond to the text at Friday evening. It, it hits them immediately. It says, okay, what time would work best for you? And it will pull dynamic values from the calendar availability on your calendar. And it'll say, it'll actually look at your calendar uh, live and it'll see that you're available at two and four for the next day. It'll pull those times into the text and create it uh, and create a text that basically says, hey, it looks like we have two and four available. Does that work for you? And even if they say no, I need to do something later, it'll pull later from the text. And again, it's it's machine learning. So it knows that it's going, it knows where to go once you say later. So it's really interesting, man. So we're we're in the process of getting it all set up, but it'll probably be ready in I would say four to six weeks. Okay. Cool. Yeah. So Good pretty exciting, idea. Man. Yeah, tell me. So what do you okay. want to add on so, to it? So here's the biggest thing as an influencer, entrepreneur, is I want to be a better influencer, but I also want to be a better entrepreneur, okay? And the the only way I can do this, I have to take time from one of them. And influencing can take a lot of time out of people because it's so draining between posting and, and all this. The next thing you know, the problem with posting is, you go right on your phone and you start scrolling, right? Scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. And I realized when I was tracking my time, I literally could have a whole extra, if I just combined all my social media time for the week, I can have a whole extra work day. Like it was wild. A whole extra work really? day wow. of just straight, like I was ripping like 10, 15 hours a week um, or more on. Of on just like media. leisure scrolling? Just leisure scrolling. I don't get like. Like, yes, I was live for some of those hours, but like, even if it was 10 hours, 10 hours a week is massive. If I, you know, if I value my time at $250 an hour or $500 an hour, a lot of money a week. So, yeah. um, the, but the thing, the reason, I mean, they're all deleted off my phone now, um, it, because I just couldn't do it anymore. And I have guys that post for me and, and respond to DMs for me. Um, but the thing that it lacks is, the story posts are great for 
influencers because it keeps their followers connected to the influencer, right? So for me, it's posting the team's profits. It's posting my workouts, posting what I'm doing. But I can't post a story unless I'm on the app. Or likewise, I can't I can't DM people unless I'm on the app. And you can say, oh, Hootsuite has that. No, it's it does not work. It does not work. So I want a place where I can post YouTube shorts, TikTok, and in IG reels, all in the same place with ease, with 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 good user interface because Hootsuite stinks, um, and be able to post stories and just respond to DMs all right there, or have an auto DM bot built in to where it's like because ninety percent of the DMs I get is how do we start trading? Boom, here's how you start trading. I already have something I copy and paste anyway, yeah. so if I can have a bot that just automatically respond, it'd be great. So if I can just simply have an app where I can post stories, um and not have the availability to scroll and have my team come in and, and post and schedule posts and, and respond to, to DMs. Dude, it would save me so much time and it would be able to keep that personal because I'm done posting stories for, for the time being because I deleted everything. And then the next step would be to be able to go live on the app because I need the TikTok app to be able to go live and I can't go live without it. Mm-hmm. Um, and but the same thing, I, I get off live and I scroll. I just, I, I physically can't do it unless I delete the app. I literally can't do it. So that's one yes. thing that I'm like driving well, me nuts. There is one app that's potentially might solve one of these issues. It's called repurpose.io. Now I haven't used it. I've just heard very good things about it. So you press one button and it posts to everywhere. <laughs> so post to TikTok shorts, reels, whatever you want. It's called repurpose.io. So I don't know if that would be able to post stories because I haven't used it. Um, but that that sounds like a phenomenal idea, what you're saying. Jasby's main mission is to book more people on your sales calendar. Yeah. That's really it. Now, yeah. there could be a component. Here's another way you could do it, um, which is another... This is another aspect of Jasby that's going to be really cool. So when you sign up for Jasby in the future, when we're up and running and we have the chat bot and the text bot integrated, there's what's called a live agent feature that you can incorporate. Um, so there, let's say, for instance, the bot, because it is a bot, right? And bots fail. We all we all know this. Even the smartest AI is going to fail sometimes. You can I can tell you, you know, we can go on Siri right now and probably trick her with a couple of questions. And that's you know, that's AI. Yeah. So, so with Jasby, the live agent feature, if the bot fails, there's a VA that will answer and get on as a human rollover feature okay. within 60 seconds. Oh, that's good. Yeah. So there's essentially when you are having a conversation with a prospect, your bot is booking the appointment all up until it gets tricked or it fails and it doesn't fail often, but if it does, there's a VA to come in and save the day within 60 seconds. So that live agent feature, you can really transfer to anything. You can transfer it to Instagram DMs, TikTok messages, whatever, Facebook Messenger. You can transfer that to anything. Uh, it's just about building in the infrastructure. And so we have that infrastructure um, ready. We're just, you know, it's going to be a feature that you can add on to the Jasby platform. So I, I think that's possible to have the, you know, DM campaign or the DM response part of it. If you did repurpose.io plus Jasby, I think you would solve that problem. Okay. Yeah. Because like the auto DM, I think that it would, well, that would be a lot harder AI because you're probably getting a lot of questions. But if you had like filtered questions, maybe that that the bot could respond to, because, you know, having that, the problem is, you know, a lot of people DM me. I don't respond for hours to days. But if it's right. an auto DM, like Jazzy, boom, like here's my calendar book now. Like I feel like if I can do it within almost instantly, they're gonna they're gonna be like, oh wow, I'm gonna book right now. So I, f- I feel like that would help too. And I wonder how hard it would be to integrate integrate that. Well, I will find out for you. We'll we'll yeah. ask the team. Let me know because that's that's one thing. If it can um, be done, if it can be done, we can do it. Because they the the way that it works is, and I don't even know fully how this works, but there's what's called an API connection, right? And the API connection is basically just two softwares talking to each other. Yeah, from my understanding. So when the API talks to from go high level to 
dialogue flow, it's able to connect that and, and text the client. So if they can do that and set it up with Instagram or messenger, where do you get most of your DMS? Instagram? IG. It, I, I only accept yeah. um, messages from IG or discord, but mainly IG. Yeah, that would be awesome, dude. If you can respond within 60 seconds to every single DM and inquiry, you're going to yeah. book way more. Yeah, way more. That's that'd be cool. This would be the next step, but that's that's that'd be pretty advanced because I get wild questions on <laughs> on there. But hold on, real quick, uh, I want to pull up your website just because I want to throw some some credit to capital stuff in here. Um, yeah, credit to capital dot com with the two. And with insurance the was hard to get. Or they were what was it that the you're like, man, like it's risky, like credit to capital. What were we talking about in Tennessee? Oh, oh yeah. So no, with uh, when you set up your business name to get business credit, right? Yeah. The actual like legal name of the corporation is really important uh, because the banks look at that stuff, right? Like Chase Bank is going to look at your legal business name. And if it says, you know, Forex Crypto Masters, you're not going to get funding, dude. Forex Crypto Masters. Yeah, you're not going to get funding. If it says like Crypto Hedge Fund Trading Inc., I can promise you, you're not going to get funding. Um, <laughs> and so that's one aspect that we like, I laugh at because, you know, our, our LLC is not credit to capital. It's something completely different that you would never, you would, you would never know what the business does. But that's a really big part of getting funding is, is the legal <laughs> business name. So like, for instance, like Profit Chasers, could be a red flag really it could be yeah i know i know it could be Shoot, anything with right. anything with money anything with you know real estate like it, 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 it's really funny because credit to capital is really like the worst of the worst <laughs> yeah no yeah, literally it's, pretty, it's bad so <laughs> nice so Tell tell me your your target avatar. Who you feel like you can help the most out of, like, if if you see a booked call, who what's your ideal customer as far as you know that you can get them funding and you know you can help them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the people that we're serving with credit to capital is entrepreneurs, either that own a business that want to scale it and need capital or growth capital. Do that or entrepreneurs with new businesses uh, that they need to start the business. So if you have a new business you want to you know, fund, or if you have an existing business you're trying to scale, those are the people that we help. And so we're going to be having uh, a live call once a week in our Facebook group. And you also have a full-blown course with you know 80 modules plus in there with everything from how to set up your LLC to how to uh, you know, fix and optimize your personal credit, which credit cards to go after and how to set up bank relationships all the way up to how to do the applications and how to get, you know, a hundred plus thousand in funding in, you know, 30, 45, 60 days. So the course is going to be 100% the most comprehensive business credit course of all time. And the thing that I like the most about it is I don't know so I've looked into like other competitors a while ago for, for this reason to get, you know, 0% business credit. Um, but I've never heard of anyone doing it to where you can do it with $0 down and you only pay them what you get them. I've never, I've never heard uh, any other competitor do that, which is huge for a lot of people because it's, yeah. it's literally zero risk for them, zero risk, which is wild. Yeah, so on the that, on our done for you offer, right? Because we have two different aspect, two different kind of avenues you can go. Uh, majority of people are more interested in the course because here's the thing: like if you come to me and let's just say on the performance side of things, the what you're the pricing model you're talking about, we have two options, right? You have a membership option and a performance base. Performance is zero down, and you pay eight percent of the funding, right? Super easy. But if I get you a hundred grand, which we likely will. You're going to pay me eight grand to get that. And that's just one time. Whereas yeah. the course, the course is not eight grand. It's less than that. <laughs> yeah. Right. So if you get in the course, I'm going to teach you exactly how to do it yourself. And you could do that for the rest of your life. 
and you know exactly how to do it. So most right. people are wanting to do the course because it just makes so much more sense financially. Yeah. And it's always, it's always good to learn how to fish that rather than, you know, going. Oh, I agree. Fish. But yeah. definitely like, when it but I agree with you though. for me, I'm like, all I gotta do is pay you 8% of what you give me. Yeah. I'm going to do that. I'm like, well, and, the cool thing nothing- is that just to not to cut you off, but the cool thing is in the group, we actually have done for you rounds of funding and it's way cheaper than if you were to do it on the outside. So if you join the group and become a member in the group, we do rounds. It's unbelievably cheap, right? Like right now it's priced at nine ninety seven for a round. So you give me a thousand bucks and we do a full round of funding for you. That's unheard of. Most, most companies out there is 10 to 15% of the funding that they get you. And I'm not trying to like toot my own horn. It's just that like, we really are trying to be priced so competitively so that you guys feel like you're getting a ton of value out of it. Yeah. Basically, you know, if you go to, for instance, like if you were to go to credit to capital performance base, 8%, we get you 120 grand. You're going to pay us like 9,000 bucks, right? You could do the course and like multiple rounds of funding for less than that. So. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. So there's a lot of avenues. So if you have a lot of time, definitely course and then the funding route with you. But if you're someone that's like, man, I'm busy. I have a lot going on. You know, I just want to do hands off done for me. Then that's, that's the best route. Because quite yeah. honestly, like if you <clears throat> have a plan in, in place or a business concept or model that you don't think is going to make you more than 8% ROI, then you probably shouldn't do it. So you know, so most guys are like, like for me, if you can give me 120,000 with, with, with only having to make 8% back to get back to that, to the 120 K easy enough. I'll do that tomorrow. You know what I mean? So yeah, exactly. The biggest hack is to, for most people is to join the course because it gets you access to a thousand dollar funding rounds. That's really what it is, you know? Yeah. And then you also have access to the course where over time you could just slowly, but surely learn it. And then, you know, once you learn it, you could do your own round of funding easily. Um, but yeah, still, most people are going to do the done. They're going to come and join the course and do the done for you rounds in the course, just because you get access to the live calls. You get the whole training of how to do business credit and how to set up your corporate credit too, right? The non-personally guaranteed that's only attached to your business. We're teaching that in the course as well. And then, you know, a thousand bucks, you get a, a done for you round. So that that's what makes the most financial sense for sure because i agree with you man i'm busy too i wouldn't want to do you know a whole round of applications with the i don't have time to do that most people don't so that's wild yeah dude so let's um i I wanted to you know kind of get an update man and catch up with you on what your what your group's got going on because we haven't talked in at least since tennessee about like the offer and like what what kind of changes you made in the group so tell me a little bit about like about what's going on and what you guys got uh got cooking so we launched that mastermind we talked about which we got i only took on I, like i said i'm only gonna take five people i took the five people we just started um doing a lot of the one-on-one stuff um already pulling investments for them to kind of get to their goals i had them do an onboarding packet of being so like they had to be so in depth on really what they wanted. And there were some people where they weren't in depth enough and I made them redo it because the more visual they are, the the more they can write down what they want, the easier it's going to be for me to get them to those goals. So that mastermind my launch is going to be super successful. I'm already partnering with them on some deals um, and you know, getting them to their goals of being financially free, being their own boss so they can full-time day trade uh, and, and do whatever. Um, a lot of them because they're they're really busy and they can't do the day trading route. We've been partnering on some crazy real estate deals. And a lot of people are like, what the heck? Real estate in this market, there's still insane deals of lifetime out there that's gonna make yield you so much greater return than that, you know, than a higher interest rate is gonna, you know, take from you. So mm-hmm. we've been killing it, uh, doing a lot of more lease option route, actually. For example, we just did one with with um uh, student Noah. And we put it was he actually was lucky because it was FHA. Not everyone has access to an FHA loan. Um, but if you do, you can make way more money. Anyway, we by the time closing costs came around and repairs, it was like we painted and carpeted. It was stupid cheap. Home Depot had a deal going where if you buy their carpet there, they're gonna replace it for they're gonna install it for free. And they did it within wow. an hour. 
Um, so it's like, I think we were all in maybe seven after closing it, it paint and carpet. 7,000. 7,000. It was and just wild. for people that don't know, you know, prior former mortgage guy here, FHA is a loan where you can get, you know, even a multifamily unit, uh, but single family, multifamily, all the way up to four units for three and a half percent down. And the catch is it's a primary residence loan. So you can live in one unit and rent the rest. Some people just rent the whole thing, right? Um, so it's FHA is a really, really awesome loan product, but it's you know, it's not available for every lending situation. We went through, so if- we went through a credit, um what are they called? Uh credit not credit union. Company. Credit union, thank you. And it's zero percent down to them. So it was like, okay. Oh, nice. Um, and so <laughs> seven awesome. K N we, it was listed for one twenty five. I got it. I could have got it for 85. I know it, but I got it for 95. Um, and so all automatically we got it for a steal. It was, it was a comp. We, we low balled. He was a 90 year old guy. He wanted to move to Florida like everyone. So I got, mm-hmm. all right, we'll take it off your hands. Um, and then what we ended up doing was we did the lease option route. So we had someone come in, put, give us $25,000 down pay us 1200 bucks a month and pay all utilities for the next two years. So we're going to make at least $500 a month, not have any responsibilities of maintenance, any, any utilities, any taxes. It's all this, this renters. And we got 25 K down. Best part is if they can't buy us out in the next two years, after lease options up, they either have to resign, put more money down, or they're going to have to walk away, which obviously for them in their best interest is to buy us out. Now if they buy us out in the next two years, we're gonna make an extra 30,000 at least because we got it for 30,000 less than what it appraised for. And we added equity. So um, Whoa. It's, it's- So this is a rent to own situation? Rent to own, rent to own, lease option. It is, it's- So it's just to clarify, by- let me, cause this probably went over some people's heads. I just wanna make sure that everybody understands what you just said, cause it's insane. It's a yeah. really crazy model. So you're saying that you did a 0% down deal. So the bank financed the entire property. You just put a little bit of money in for getting it ready. Yep. You bought the property and then somebody came in and gave you 20. So you still own the property, but they gave you $25,000 cash to secure a future position as a buyer because they cannot afford or qualify for a mortgage now. So they give you 25 grand. You still own the house, your cash flowing, your cash flow positive in the property and they pay and cover all the utilities. So they are a renter that has all the tenant benefits of a buyer. Is that correct to say? Correct. And it's really easy to sell this right now is because you can say like, listen, like, we're going to offer you, we're going to give you a chance to not buy this home now, but when interest rates go down in the next two years, yes. um, hopefully, then you're going to be able to buy or buy at a lower interest rate. And they love that. It's easy to sell. I just did a sandwich lease on um, on a duplex and, and kind of did the same, the same thing. And this guy's like, no way. And I'm like, you know, both, okay, lease here, lease here. I'm just taking the money in the middle. And I get I get a fat down payment because the first lease was no money down. Second lease, I'm gonna get um sixteen thousand dollars down. And wow. so it's and so that's what I'm just doing with some of these mastermind guys. The the reason why I'm doing this is because they are all in positions where they cannot drop their full-time job to pursue day trading. So the end goal is to be able to full-time day trade, but the problem is they need that consistent income. And in right. order, in my opinion. A lot of these guys are making a buco bucks. I have a guy that's that that he had, he had a company making two million a year during COVID. Now it's making about six hundred k a year, but he's tired of it. And so, how can so these guys are making really good money? And um, well, that guy was a little bit of an exception. But for example, we we have a guy that's an FA. He's making 80, 90 k a year, pretty good money. Problem is, you in my opinion, in order to make that consistently. A, you have to be a consistent trader, and B, you should really have fifty to hundred thousand in in a, in, a, in a trading account to do that. So, okay. um, what I've been doing with these masterminds is I've been getting them some awesome real estate deals to to increase their passive income, so that they can pay their bills and not worry. If, dude, if I had a bad trading month, man, I, I I can't pay my bills. I've had that happen to me when my wife and I were engaged, um, and it was so stressful. I'll tell you, and that's and that's a great way to to 
to end up right back to where you're at and in, in, in a way worse shitter hole. So what I'm doing is I'm building their foundation a lot better with, with some some increased passive income they're going to get some solid income from these down payments and as they build their portfolio up then they can, can then they can focus on day trading day trading is a peak but yes the peak for example a guy a guy told me this the the peak can only go so high if you build your foundation like this however if you build your foundation much wider you can go much higher actually Alex Ramazzi said that um, and in one of his videos. And so I'm like, I have to help them build the foundation. So that's the number one thing. I've been helping these masterminds because we just started build a foundation and we've been killing it. And I'm only focusing on five right now. Um, actually four, I love it. One, one, one couldn't do it. Now, did you um, learn the real estate stuff from, cause this, all this stuff reminds me of Chris Crone. Uh, he teaches lease options. Is that, yeah, is that who you learned I a did. lot of it from? I did. He's the, I he's learned. a, he's the goat of lease options. Shout yeah. out to Chris Crone. He is a beast, dude. I've been following him for years. The guy is killing it. So yeah. I, I I heard lease option. I'm like, oh, that sounds like Chris's stuff. I have so that's book. awesome, man. Um, I have his book outside my office. Um, he actually just came out with a new book. Uh, I invited him to come on the pod. I'm hopefully, hope, hoping he could follow up. I actually asked Ryan, I don't know if you saw that, where like if you, I asked Ryan, I'm like, what do you recommend? Like a Chris Crone lease option or like a, Ryan Pineda flipping, like, and he's like, man, I don't really know what Chris Cron does. He's like, he's just my friend. So he didn't really have much input there, but. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I, I like it because anything like uh, anything that's zero down, th that's the biggest issue, right? Which is why credit to capital is is a thing, right? That's why people are are wanting our, our course and wanting to learn about it is because people don't have funds. Think about your trading academy, right? The biggest thing holding people back is what? The $25,000 pattern day training rule. Yeah. Yeah. It's the biggest thing holding you back. You can only do three trades from what I understand, right? You can't, yep. you can't be in and out of positions as much as you want. Yep. Same thing with the real estate thing. Dude, if, if, if you had a hundred grand to put into a real estate deal or spread across five different real estate deals, you could instantly uh, have a few thousand of passive income or maybe even two grand of passive income yeah. coming in. Nothing's truly passive in my opinion, but even if you can get, you know, a little bit of cushion so that you don't have to worry about losing your earned income. If you start to transition into full-time day trading, yep. um, I think it helps a lot. Yeah, no, I agree. And a lot of people won't, won't tell you that they'll just say, Hey dude, buy this. Like, let's, let's um, get you in my trading group, follow my signals and you'll replace your full-time yeah. job. And while that, I love that you tell people the real deal too. I love that you tell people like, Hey, listen, I'm not trying to sell you the dream. Like you need to have this much in your account if you want to do this full time. Yeah. And like, I feel like out of everybody in the day trading community, specifically you and your community, you guys tell people the truth about what to expect and like how much risk there is. And it's not all just like sunshine and rainbows with you guys. You yeah. tell people the real deal. This is what you should expect, but it can be very profitable and you can make a ton of money. You just have to do it the right way, which is why I love what you guys are doing. Like it's, 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 it, it's, it's a lot different than what most people are selling out there. And the reason I did that is because there's so much, I guess, fat, if you will, before you, before you realize that all these guys try to sugarcoat it and, and to show it what it's not. And then thousands of dollars in these kids are, are down that they, they want to quit. And it's like, well, it's because you were sold on a pipe dream. Like you, you were sold that you could learn this in a few weeks. Like, no, right. you got to give yourself time. Right. Like I, I said in a video, you know, doctors take seven years to learn the basics, lawyers, six, teachers, six associates, six, two, at least. And it's like, you're going to give yourself two months to learn the highest income skill on the planet. Like, are you kidding me? Like you got, you got to, you know, understand like this takes time. You know, I, I didn't turn my first dollar till two, two and a half years in. And I lost wow. at that point almost twenty five thousand dollars, and I'm like, I'm not quitting until I'm good at this. And so I fight, and then I, there was some switches I had to flick. And if I had mentorship, I would have done that way sooner. But I had to learn the hard way. And so, um, you know, we we because we're rather new, we are just coming up on our first year. We just passed our first year of uh, students in our academy, um, and to see where they're at now, and to see. It's wild. I can't believe yeah. you guys are only a year into this, dude. I mean, you the the amount of progress you guys have made in one year, hosting ProfitCon, right? Sure. Growing the group to like that's a big deal, man. I don't think most people realize how hard it is to throw a live event 
and to make sure it goes well and people get a ton of value out of it. I don't think people understand that. And yeah, so, dude, it's so stressful, you, you, man. Yeah, it's it's like uh, I I relate it to even though it's not probably on the level of a wedding, but you know, it's like a wedding. You're you're hosting this event and everybody's having fun you, at it, but it's it's like all stress for you. This was this was more stressful than my wedding. I'll be honest. It was wow. because it's my business. There was, there was a, you know, there's an agenda. Right. There was things I had to get done. And it's like, dude, what I'm kind of was like, it was, it was like my bride backed out a day before the wedding and I had to find a new bride and you and were my new bride. Was, man. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. So those who don't know, um, we had a gentleman back out. What was it, was it 48 quite, did I give you 48 hours? I think it was 72. I think it was three days uh, advance okay. notice. Yeah. So three days advance notice of, dude, you, you need to speak at my event. And then within the hours I got you and that he's whipped up that thing on the plane, which everyone is like, dude, how it's almost like you knew that was going to happen because it ended up being, in my opinion, the, the best presentation, just as far as um, uh what, just quality of, of just gems you were giving there for those kids and just how in depth it was. Like no one thought we were just talking, my boy and I were talking about the other day. No one thought that you would have whipped that up in, in a few hours. That was wild. Yeah. yeah. No, I, I really appreciate it, man. It means a lot that you're saying that Um, for my, for the last like nine years, you know, my vision, I, be, I you know, I, whatever your guys' spiritual beliefs are out there, you know, this can be applied to anything, but, you know, I think God, the universe plants visions into your, your mind and, and into your soul and gives you visions for your future of like, Hey, it, this is your dream. I'm going to give you this dream. And right. if you have something like that, where you're like picturing yourself doing something, I believe that's from the universe. It's from God. He implants that and down and yeah. downloads it into your soul. And I've, for the last nine years, dude, I've been envisioning doing this like envisioning speaking. on podcasts public speaking on stages helping people to achieve financial freedom to get out of their you know you know even mental health stuff right yeah. like i've had mental health struggles and i've had physical struggles i've had financial struggles and so i've envisioned that for the last nine years man and so like i knew this was coming i really did and i i don't say that in like a cocky arrogant way i say it because like i feel like i'm being used as you know, an example and used as a kind of beacon of light because everybody there heard I failed 10 businesses, right? It's not, yeah. that's, so to, to be able to say that and now see where we're at now, I just think a lot of people need to hear that. And throughout the whole thing, it's really weird, man. The whole, the whole time this all was happening and I wasn't making it and I was failing. I knew I was, I was like, I, I truly believe that things happen for you, not to you. In, yeah. in in your life. So the whole time, and I got it from this guy, right? I got it from Tony Robbins. That's like, he's, the, I listened to him for years all throughout that struggle and all throughout those years of me, you know, being negative in my bank account and business is failing and, you know, things going to collections and just being in a really bad place. I always listen to positive audios like Grant Cardone, Tony, I would listen to these guys and everything was, you know, things happened for you, not to you. And so yeah. Throughout that, I knew that eventually this was going to be used as a story for at least somebody to get value out of it and to, you know, to be inspired and to give them hope because, you know, I'm not, I'm not anything special or different. I just didn't give up. I didn't quit.